British national Alexander Cote pleading guilty to all eight charges against him in federal court in Virginia. Today, through the voices and lives of the victims, justice spoke. Cote charged with hostage taking resulting in death, conspiracy to commit murder against U.S. citizens abroad, and conspiracy to provide material support to terrorists. James Foley, one of the ISIS hostages who was killed so brutally, grew up in New Hampshire. His mother, Diane, speaking outside of the courthouse. We sincerely want to express our gratitude to all involved in apprehending Alexander Cote. His parents, longtime residents of Rochester, have become advocates for press freedom and journalist safety, creating the James Foley Legacy Foundation. They hope this plea deal sends a strong message. This accountability is essential for anyone who kidnaps or unjustly detains Americans abroad. Cote also admitting his role in the death of journalist Stephen Sotloff seven years ago today. Sotloff graduated from Kimball Union Academy in Meriden in 2002. Captured by Kurdish forces in 2018, Cote and another British ISIS member, El Shafif El Sheikh, were turned over to the American military in 2019. Cote was scheduled to stand trial in January, with this plea now ending a long and arduous process. The justice, fairness, and humanity that this defendant received in the United States stand in stark contrast to the cruelty, inhumanity, and indiscriminate violence touted by the terrorist organization that he espoused. Cote faces life in prison. This after the U.S. government agreed not to seek the death penalty as part of an earlier deal to secure his extradition. He is scheduled to be back in court in Virginia on March 4th for sentencing. Reporting live, I'm Nicole Lally, WMUR News 9.